This looks good. It looks good. <laughs> I like it. Welcome everyone to Soul Seekers TV. I'm one of your soul guides, Patricia Rivera Wolfson. And I am one of your soul guides, Linda Krauss Barnett. So yay. great to have you. Yay, yay, yay. We are so excited to be here. Welcome to week two of our Soul Seekers experiments. We are still on experiment one and we'll be on it for um, probably a few more Hi. weeks. At least. <laughs> you. Um, we are using the book by Pam Grout called E Squared, and we are doing nine energy experiments as outlined in her book to prove that your thoughts create your reality. And this week we have a whole new principle I want to introduce to you, and it's called the Volkswagen Jetta principle. So, um, would you like to continue? Absolutely. So, uh, I'll give you like the quick Cliff Notes version, and then Trish can elaborate. But basically, the reason it's called the Volkswagen Jetta principle is because once you bring something into your awareness, then that's kind of all you see. So you think you're kind of unique in wanting a Volkswagen Volkswagen Jetta, and then you go to the lot, and lo and behold, there's hundreds of them because that's what you called in. You see them on the street, you see them when you're driving on the highway, and now that you want a Volkswagen Jetta, you see them everywhere. Exactly. And I look to look at this as the Google search principle as well for myself. It's something that I talk to um, my children about. But I talk to my clients and my friends about our brain works like a Google search engine. Well, like Google which is the search engine. <laughs> and whatever you sort of type in with your words like um, you know, whatever it could be, then Google will show it to you. And so the universe is responding to your search. So, with, you know, we're in the matrix and our brain is literally, you know, the search engine and whatever it is that you want to see, whatever you've told it to search for is what it's going to find. And so this principle is actually going to prove that that happens and how we're going to do that is by literally choosing something very specific to call into your awareness. And you're going to set the intention, I, um, you know, I intend to see, and the words in the book that I really like, I intend to see whatever it is you choose to see. Now, one of the things that Pam Grow uses in the book, so we'll use that for example, for our example right now is yellow butterflies. So I intend to see yellow butterflies. And um, for the first 24 hours, so just like the other experiment, it's a 48 hour experiment, but what's different is you're actually going to be choosing two different things to see on both days. So first day of your experiment, you wake up and you say, I intend to see yellow butterflies. The second day of your experiment, maybe you say, um, I intend to see tie-dye shirts. Uh, and then you keep track in your day of exactly what you are seeing each day and many, may, how many times it's showing up for you. Uh, and I think it's going to be kind of fun. I think it's going to be kind of fun. And I know that um, I saying things is much easier than actually practicing and doing, but I will say again that um, from various things that I've read and heard, it, and just from our own, don't limit yourself to ask for something status quo or standard. Be, be really, again, bring adventure and fun and joy into this experiment. And so ask for the things you actually really want to see because you're probably going to end up seeing a whole lot of it. So ask for the kind of beauty that you'd love to be surrounded by because then as it comes in, it's going to bring you so much joy to be surrounded by those things. And also be aware of your inclination to either choose something easy or to choose something really hard. Right. Um, you know, like be aware of and, and just, you know, don't judge it, but just note it for yourself. Right. So it's like, I want to see red cars. Maybe that's a good choice for you where it's like, you know, I don't, I don't see that many red cars anymore. So you set the intention to see red cars, um, but maybe you see a red car every day. And so you're making it a little bit easier. So, you know, use your judgment and choose something that you're going to know, just like the last experiment, something that you're going to know is the universe an bringing it to you. You know, you want to get the answer. We want to succeed, but we also don't want to then succeed in a way that we're going to doubt our success, right? We Correct. want this to work. Right? And I think um, in specifying 
at least for me, what I would like to try when I do this is um, we, we tend to categorize by color because color is such an obvious sense mm -hmm. of perception. But I would like to challenge some of you not to just limit by color, you know, maybe, maybe incorporate shapes or um, something you haven't seen in a really long time. Or if you're going to say... Um, an animal, maybe name the animal, you know, or a certain type of beetle or a certain type of lizard or just don't <laughs> be afraid like the because one fell on my head, but um, <laughs> use your imagination and get creative with this, you know, and again, you're playing and you're having fun and be childlike in your request because this is the chance to see what you can find out there. Yes, absolutely. So to sum up, Today's principle is the Volkswagen Jetta principle. And what we want you to do is declare what you want the universe to show you. And you're going to ask the universe slash field of infinite uh, possibilities 40, uh, 48 hours to show you whatever you ask for. And you're going to be very specific. I want to see yellow butterflies. I want to see tie dye shirts. Those are just what I chose. Um, and for the first 24 hours, you're going to search for one thing, the said yellow butterflies or whatever you choose. And then the second 24 hours, you're going to choose something else like the tie-dye shirts or whatever you choose. Um, be clear, concise, and give that 48-hour deadline. And then make note of what you saw and how many times you saw it. And for those of you who have, who are on our mailing list, um, I will have the lab report on the list, and if you're not on our list, get on it, and we will provide you with the lab report. Or if you have the book, then you already have the lab report so that you can jot down your notes. And so feel free to post and log on and get onto Soul Seekers TV, and if you're getting excited and you're starting to see things and you just need to tell somebody, then don't be afraid to log on to Soul Seekers TV, get on our Facebook page, and tell us what an incredible time you're having and what you're seeing. It doesn't have to wait until the, the final day. You could kind of share your journey with us as you go along. That's right, and we will be going live on Thursday, October 3rd, that's this Thursday at 11.11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to talk about our results, and we wanna hear your results. Absolutely. So if you're available, please come join us. If you're not, send us a message with your results, write the comments, just like Linda said. Let us know how these experiments are going for you and invite your friends. Invite your friends to join us on Facebook, invite your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel and invite your friends to participate with you because it's so much more fun if you have someone to share this with. And that's it. So I guess all we have left to say is good luck on your guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye.